Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 202. Welcome. Okay, so I have three finished objects to show you today and three works in progress, so let's get started. For my first finished object, I finished the baby bear that I was working on. This was a pattern test for Michelle Estrada. It was a, a, her newest pattern that, she, in fact, she just posted it uh, available to be purchased, and so here is the baby bear. Okay, so here I'm finished, like I said. It's a great pattern. I think he turned out really cute. <laughs> I believe the picture, the, the bear that she made was um, in a, let's see, I think she used super, Red Heart Super Saver Stripes and what the yarn that I used, I wanted a, a little different look so that way you could get another example of her pattern and what it would look like. And so I used uh, Red Heart Super Saver pooling is what I used and I believe the pattern the colorway is called still water and I used one skein and I have a ball about so big I guess left over so it didn't take a whole skein but uh, I, I really like the way the pattern uh, turned out the way it pooled it has this swirling effect there it looks like he's got a stripe down his cheek I think that's pretty cool <laughs> um, so anyway I really uh, enjoyed putting this pattern together. It was really simple to understand. She did a great job writing it up. Uh, I really like the design. The head and body is one piece and so all you have to sew on is you have to sew on the muzzle. You have to uh, do the, you know, the ears are separate. You sew those on. The arms and the legs are separate and he has a cute little tail. <laughs> And he will set up. Uh, that's what's wonderful about putting a tail on your amigurumi, be, amigurumis because it helps kind of prop him up in the back. Um, so you have the three points, the two legs and the tail to help um, position him where he will sit up. So anyway, thank you, Michelle, for letting me... Um, try this pattern out. I really enjoy it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I think it turned out really cute. Okay, so this is finished object number one. So go over and I will list uh, Michelle's Etsy shop below where you can purchase this pattern and check out her other patterns that she has listed on, on her in her shop because she's an awesome designer. I think she does a great job with all the patterns that she has designed. Okay, so that is finished object number one. Finished object number two is uh, I finished Bernard of uh, the, uh, well, it's Bernard of, well, it's, it's a pattern inspired by the rescuers, which is Bernard and Bianca, <laughs> okay? And I finished Bernard. It's a free pattern. Um, I will link below in the, in the description box where you can find the pattern. Um, and there's a link. Okay, so it's kind of like a two-pattern thing because you go to that art, the uh, website, which is Ollie Holly something i forget but it's i will link it below anyway you go to that website uh look for the um well that'll take you to the page where it talks about the patterns and right toward the top where she's talking about the pattern she has another link that you click on that will take you over to the actual mouse pattern and then you make that and then go back to that original site and get the for the, the pattern for the clothes okay so here is bernard I think he turned out really cute. I've uh, got his ears. I think last week I didn't, I hadn't made his hat yet, and his ears I just had pinned on. And I think he was needed one more sleeve uh, on his sweater. Okay, so I finished the sleeve, and got his ears on. I made his little hat. Okay, and uh, I had to make his hat. Uh, and stitch that on first and then I knew where to place the ears because they had need to be on you know a, there need to be space enough in the middle there to put his hat on so did that um, now I didn't do the the tail like the pattern called for the it actually called for some uh, wire that you wrap the the pink yarn around and then um, glue it to the wire you could pose it and that way when you attach it to uh, your mouse <laughs> that that would stand then you pose that tail and it help it 
it works as a stand for those for them to stand up on, on their own. I decided not to do that. I just did a uh, I think it was a chain. I attached the yarn, the pink yarn, with a slip stitch and then chained 18 and then uh, fastened off, weaved in my ends, and so that's that's all I did. And so he will not, of course, not stand up by himself, but he will have to be propped up against something. But I think he's turned out really cute. I ended up just um, putting one little line down there on his nose. I didn't put the, give him a smile or I didn't stitch on his mouth. Uh, I, I started to, but it really wasn't turning out very well. So I decided just to leave uh, the mouth off there and get a good pick, good shot of him focused <laughs> so okay and here I will put a picture right here of what Bianca is going to be looking like so then you can see the pair together so here is what it's going to look like with both uh, what they will look like both together okay <laughs> Okay, so that's Bernard and Bianca once I get them together. Of course, I have not finished, I haven't started on Bianca yet, but I will be using the same mouse pattern, but I'll just do her in white. And then, of course, she has a coat, a scarf, and a little pillbox hat, I think is what her outfit is. And so, um, there you go. <laughs> Uh, I'm enjoying the patterns. I think they're they're turning out really cute. Now I did use a three millimeter hook, and I am using a, th a number three weight baby yarn, baby yarn or sport weight yarn for the yarn. And and like I said, a three point zero millimeter hook. Okay, um, going on. Let's see. That was my second finish object number, and then finish object number three. There's actually two. Uh, I am taking part in the B squared crochet along. Uh, this is being hosted by uh, Jill of Fiber Floozy Crafts and so uh, I am working on uh, making the squares in this B squared cowl that she's doing. Um, it's kind of like a sampler type thing because each square is formed by a different crochet stitch so I'm really enjoying that because I'm learning new, new stitches. Some stitches are new already uh, but I'm learning some new ones as well. Um, and so I did uh, squares number 15 and squares number 16. So let me show you. Okay, this one I really enjoyed making. I think it's a it's a very nice pattern and um, it would just make it would make a nice project just doing a bunch of these <laughs> because I don't know if you can tell that the pattern uh, that I used. I don't I don't have a name for it. I mean I don't think there was a name for it. I'm not sure. But it's kind of like a spin off of a granny square sort of. Kind of like a, a solid granny square. I don't think you can see there. there's this stitch that goes out diagonal here and then you have the solid stitches in the middle. Uh, I don't know how well you can see the design uh, be, with the colors that I used, but I really like that. And in this one, I think would be very versatile because you could just repeat this pattern uh, and just do additional rounds, and you could make it as big or small um, of a square that you uh, would need. So anyway, that is square number 15, okay, and then square number 16 is also a granny, it's basically a granny square. Um, the, the stitching was a little bit different, I think I did a chain, I had to do like a chain one between the uh, three uh, double crochet groupings, and um, I usually don't, but... Uh, yeah, basically it's a granny square. I, I'm trying to remember if there's something in anything else different in the formation of it. Um, I don't think so. I think it's basically a granny square, and I love granny squares, so I enjoyed making it. <laughs> so that is squares number 15 and 16. Okay, uh, let's see. So that is all my finished objects. So let's go on to works in progress. Okay, so works in progress number one is the Tune My Heart blanket. Let me pop in a picture right here so you can see what this blanket is, what the pattern looks like, okay? Okay, so I didn't do a whole lot on this. I'm going to go ahead and show you because I did do a little bit. I did like two 
granny squares. As you can see, it's a granny square blanket that forms a design. Okay, but I only did two um, because of other things going on this week, but I will tell you that in a little bit. Okay, but um, I wanted to go ahead and show you what I've done. <laughs> and so this is what I've done so far. I think I did, um, I did this square with the blue, that one. So now the heart is, com the heart shape is complete. I don't have any other white squares that I need to do. Um, I will, I will put a white border around the whole thing. But besides that, I don't have any other white squares. It's all going to be squares like this one down the bottom. This is the second one that I did was this one. Okay, where I'm going to do different combinations of the colors that I've been using. I, I have a peach color that I haven't used yet, so I will probably put that in. Um, I was kind of wondering about this. This is kind of a denim -y blue color, and it's a little bit darker. You can see it's a little darker than some of these other squares so I didn't know for sure if that would be a good uh, addition in there but I kind of like it and once I get I use that in other squares in the piece it'll all kind of blend together I think or not blend but it'll be united together with the colors uh, but I just needed another some some sort of color and I'm really trying to use what I've got in my uh, pastel colors for this whole blanket without having to buy anything different and so um, like I said I do have a peach um, that I haven't used yet and then I have I have this purple right here and I have another uh, kind of a pastel purple but it's actually a little bit of darker hue I guess hue I don't know it's a little darker purple than that one and so I will probably include that in the mix of colors as well but anyway that's all I've done on this is those two squares that I added um, I really wanted to get some more work done on it but I was really trying to get this bare finished as soon as I could for me for Michelle for, as a pattern tester and um, so I just didn't get um, but two squares done <laughs> and I wanted to get Bernard finished and off my hook so um, anyway let's go on to works in progress uh, number two I started a new project you know me I've just gotta I gotta start a project <laughs> and so I I, since I finished that basket that's got the, that had the tapestry crochet, the one I did for my son and daughter-in-law for the for the baby or to put in the nursery, um, I did not have a um, tapestry crochet piece going, and so I kind of missed it going working with a, a chart and and doing that, and so I've decided to uh, go with a new or start something new okay so I had this book this image I found this chart um, I think I must have found it like I did a search for this particular image and I, I just found a free I think it might be a cross stitch chart I'm not sure well I think so because there was a color coding that had DMC colors a brand of, of embroidery floss mainly used for cross stitching well and embroidery <laughs> but anyway I really loved the chart and I thought oh that would be a cute that would make a cute tote bag if you remember if you've been watching me for a while I made a flamingo bag that was off of a chart and it made a big tote bag I made that and then I made another tote bag that had a llama on it and uh, so this is kind of basically the same type thing or I'm gonna make the same type of tote bag with this okay so here is my chart uh, isn't that cute? I think I just did a search for a uh, toucan chart and I just thought that it was so cute. And so like I said, it was a free chart that I found and I printed off. And so I'm going to make use this image for a tote bag. And let me show you what I've done so far on it since I have started. Okay, hold it up here. I do have a uh, yarn connected to it but not too much that I can't hold it up so here's what I've gotten so far okay this green is Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green okay and then I'm of course using black and then the the um, 
branch that the toucan is sitting on is cafe latte and then his feet right there is a uh, turquoise turquoise red heart super saver okay so i'm just picking out colors that i have already and um so that's what i've got okay <laughs> that's the far as i've gotten um so i am on the chart right where the feet stopped right there and so i have a few rows to get up there that's only going to be using the black and the green and then i'll start with the, the other markings on him anyway so that is what i'm working on and um i was trying to figure out how wide it should be for a tote bag and um i believe the flamingo bag that i made which turned out to be a pretty big size tote bag it was 60 stitches across and I think this is 50 56 so it's just four stitches less and so I think it's going to be a good size uh, the bottom will be a an oval shape unless I decide to change it um, but I think what I'm going to do is once I get the image done um, because th this chart, I think I figured it out. Yeah, it's going to be 56 stitches across and 66 stitches up. So it will be a rectangular piece. And if I feel like that it's not large enough for a tote bag, because the way I'm going to do the base, some of this is going to go like that, you know, to curve around to the, the sides. And so I may do a border around the whole entire thing of like maybe um, a like a stripe of maybe black and a stripe of the turquoise maybe or maybe even a stripe of some of this other, the, some of the other bright colors possibly if i feel like i need to enlarge it but anyway i'm really excited about it um i enjoy doing that sort of stuff and when you make a tote bag which is awesome I, w w the awesome thing about it <laughs> is that it's not a double-sided project and so you can float the yarn across where you need it you don't have to be quite as careful as when you're doing a blanket where the image is double-sided because I will line this tote bag and then you won't see any of that um, mess <laughs> on the back side so it's awesome you can just enjoy doing doing the project and it's it's not near as um, difficult you know where you're trying to make both sides look really good <laughs> okay so that is works in progress number two <laughs> okay so there okay works in progress number three is my knitting project i talked about it last week um i had um come upon this knitting channel and it's called noble knits and uh, i really liked this uh one pattern that she well she has several patterns that are awesome but this one i particularly was attracted to because it uses one cake of yarn she used a, a mandala cupcake no, a lime brand cupcake is that what it is yeah and i'm using this lime brand mandala in the colorway valkyrie because i only had one cake of it and so i was thinking well knitting makes a larger prod product product project <laughs> uh, because you use less yarn when you're knitting versus you use more yarn up when you're crocheting and so I was thinking since I've only got one cake if I do a knitting project it would make this stretch you know into a bigger finished object <laughs> and so uh, she had this pattern on there and I hadn't I hadn't knit in a long time and I was just kind of wanting to have a knitting project um, but something super simple because I um, I know somebody had commented and said, oh, you can knit too, you know, like I'm multi-talented. Well, yeah, I can knit, but I kind of, like I was commenting, or I answered her comment and I said, I kind of play at knitting because I only know like the knit stitch, the purl stitch, and just a couple of other little stitches. And that that's really about it. In fact, I'm not real confident with my purl stitches so it had to be something that was like all knit stitch and maybe a one extra stitch or something thrown in there but that's it <laughs> and so this fit the bill this is a mitered square baby blanket i will list uh, in the description box below a link to that tutorial um that that uh noble knits has on their on her channel and um if you want to check it out but she's got some other baby baby blankets on there that i i thought looked really interesting and um so uh, i'm sure i'll try out some other patterns as well anyway it's it's really it's a good beginner's project so i definitely consider myself 
beginner knitter although I've been doing it for a while I never really progressed with it I did you know so I'm just real comp the, I'm most confident with the knit stitch okay so this is the mitered square this is what I've gotten done so far I just like to pick it up and just um, work on it while I'm watching something on the computer or on uh, TV or something I'll pick it up and I'll do a few rows and um, now what motivated me to get this much done is the fact that um, I was really when you do something self striping really motive at least it does for me it really motivates me to want to keep going until I get to the next color or to where there's the color is changing and you can see this big section was of this green well it actually I don't I don't know if you can tell but I am actually on the uh, you can't tell yet but I'm on the first row of another color change so I just zoomed through not zoomed but I just kept working on it <laughs> until I had a color change because I had this big section of that green and so I was um, anxious to get to another one and so when I saw the color change then I was like "Ooh, I'm under the next color and so I so I quit from there <laughs> but anyway that's my progress on it for this week now I did not put I should put a progress keeper uh, where I stop and I haven't done that so now that I'm showing you this on today's episode I'm going to try to remember to put a uh, clip a little progress keeper in here on this row so then I can uh, the next time I show you I can see um, how much I actually got done <laughs> anyway so there is uh, works in progress number three okay it's got a weird fold right there but it actually makes a square <laughs> okay um, so let's see so that's it okay so another reason uh, I, well besides um, working on that bear and wanting to get finished with that and with Bernard um, I didn't get a lot done on the two my heart blanket because I've been working this week putting together some freezer meals that I'm going to be giving to my uh, son and daughter-in-law so that they can put in their freezer and have things that they can just thaw out pop in the crock pot or whatever you know um, and and for them to cook and have uh, after the baby arrives so we do have a due date well we think not due date an inducement date so if he doesn't come sooner than May the 12th then May the 12th they're going to induce so uh, so we'll see <laughs> but uh, so I that's what I was working on this week as I was putting together uh, I have about three or four meals I think now that I'm going that I've got packaged up and ready I'm gonna give them give them to them give the meals to them so they can pop it in, pop them in their freezer and have them available for for you know the for a time after the baby is arrives and they are home so I've been working on that <laughs> this week okay um, so upcoming uh, let's see this next week is the next movie and stitch um, video I need to watch my H movie I haven't watched it yet I need to watch that and figure out a movie that starts with the letter I and so that move that video will be upcoming on this next Wednesday uh, I just did yesterday I did whip wall Wednesday episode number 27 I will link that below in the description box so you can uh, if you haven't watched it you can uh, please go over and watch it and you can see the project that I'm working on for that series um, and see how much I got done with that one uh, let's see what else oh and I just also filmed yesterday I edited it I edited it <laughs> today this morning uh, haven't posted it yet I think I will probably go ahead and upload it in the but schedule it to be released probably tomorrow and it's a tag video I was tagged by Carrie of the happy crafty homemaker hi Carrie and um, she tagged me in the the tag video that's going around now we had the yarn video going around that was a tag video and now there is a hooks video tag video and so she tagged me in that one and I did I filmed that yesterday and so it probably will be coming out tomorrow yeah yeah, I'll, I'll put it where it'll be coming out tomorrow. Uh, so be sure to check that out um, if you want to see what kind of hooks I use and why. <laughs> okay, and so that is upcoming. Yeah, I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, so I think that is it. Oh, but so now that I have this amigurumi finished, well, of course, I'm going to be starting um, Bianca. So I'll have that 
groomy to work on but I'm also going to be starting a pattern that I got from Val of Valerie Cud Valerie's Cuddly Cats Crochet uh, she did a she has a pattern for a what her, she calls her her swaddle baby and it's a real cute little uh, stuffed baby pattern it's really cute and so I'm going to be starting that pattern and um, do a review or whatever I guess you'd say on that pattern and um, uh, but it, that pattern is available on her Etsy shop and so I will do uh, I'll, I'm going to start working on that and of course I will have a link to her Etsy shop um, well I'll put it below so that way you can see uh, get a um, glimpse of what the patterns gonna look like I haven't started it yet so but I will put that in the description box below and so uh, if you need a baby a little stuffed baby doll pattern um, check that out <laughs> okay uh, I think that is it I keep thinking there's something else I'm gonna need to tell you but I don't know what it is right now I'll probably think of it as soon as I click the camera off <laughs> so thanks for watching guys hope everybody has a wonderful weekend um, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Subscribe, hit that thumbs up button below, and um, feel free to comment below. I love to read everybody's comments, and um, so uh, I appreciate you all. <laughs> so thanks, guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye.